Hello everybody and welcome to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events. Yeah, the hair's messed up, the growth is there. Uh, it's Wednesday, I go back to work tomorrow. Uh, and so I gotta shave that. Uh, I have had uh, several people come up to me that talked about my rant on Facebook about the siren system. And I'm telling you, I'm on a mission this spring. I, uh, I forgot to include about that, that the uh, siren, if you, if you want to know what I'm talking about, go. it was a Facebook video I did a few nights ago. I'm recording this, by the way, Wednesday, March 2nd. But uh, it's all about tornado sirens, and, and I forgot to include the fact that Oklahoma City has got the system they just implemented recently, the system that I've been talking about that we need here in Arkansas. And in my opinion, the, the, we're so outdated with uh, the tornado siren system, the way that it works. Uh, it's got to be revamped or it's got to be get, gotten rid of, one or the other. Um, and I'll say it once and I'll say it again. Never, ever, ever under any circumstance rely on tornado sirens, outdoor tornado sirens. Never rely on outdoor tornado sirens to get your warnings. I cannot say it. I cannot stress it enough. It's something that I care very deeply about. You need a NOAA weather radio or you need to sign up for Weather Call 7. You need to have some reliable mechanism, uh, a, a procedure to get severe weather warnings. I know some towns have that code, is it code red, red alert? I don't know what it's called, but that is a much better alternative than the sirens. Sirens, the tornado sirens, not controlled by the National Weather Service. They are not controlled by the media. And uh, almost every county that I know of in the state has a different policy. Some don't even have sirens in certain parts of counties. If there's a tornado warning on the east side of Pulaski County and it's moving towards Lone Oak County, the sirens in western Pulaski County go off every single time. And I think that's because, and, and don't quote me on this, it's, it's an all or nothing kind of thing. So you hear it over and over and over again in West Little Rock or in Maumelle or in Ferndale. You hear it all, you know, every single time. Eventually, and, and it may be there now, you get to the point of, of saying, uh, well, those sirens go off all the time and nothing happens. Little boy cried wolf. We've got to make it a, a better, uh, do something better with that. We've got to make it a priority at some point. The problem is that's the big problem. Big thing. All right, let's talk about, I'll talk more about that throughout the spring. Uh, so let me show you, this is the high resolution rapid refresh model off of weatherbell.com. I think we're gonna have thunderstorms uh, tonight and tomorrow along with some locally heavy rainfall with the disturbance coming through, some cold air loft, and I'm a little worried about some small hail with some of these. Uh, not much surface-based instability with this, but this is at midnight and storms out in Oklahoma, some light rain. Let's just jump ahead. Oop, I jumped ahead too far, didn't I? Uh, so this is at 2 a.m. and you see this is, uh, as we saw before, this, the simulated radar is not going to be perfect. But you see some of these cores here, I would not doubt, uh, where you see some of these uh, higher reflectivity, I wouldn't doubt if there's some hail. I would not doubt, small hail. And you see that continuing at 3, 4, 5, 6 o'clock, 7, 8, 9, 10, it's in the delta and just about done. So overnight and early tomorrow morning, I would not be a bit surprised. Uh, to You're going to hear some rumbles of thunder, uh, some locally heavy rainfall, and there could be some small hail with that. So you have been warned. Let me move this around over here like this. I want to show you the new European. Okay, got to move this around. Next week, um, you see this trough of low pressure. We're looking at 500 millibars. A deep trough of low pressure. We're fast forwarding to next week. This is... Uh, Tuesday at midnight, March 8th. And, I, and I, I told everybody on Twitter, the next significant storm system that I'm really going to watch March 8th and 9th. Uh, there's going to deep, there's going to be a deep flow of moisture uh, that's very apparent coming off the Gulf of Mexico. Remember, I've been telling you that the Gulf of Mexico water temperatures are above average. So there's going to be a lot of juice getting pumped up. The atmosphere is going to be juiced up uh, by the time we get towards the 8th and 9th of next week with the flow off the Gulf storm system coming from the West and this has the ingredients and has all the looks of uh, some severe weather, especially a heavy rain maker or a little bit of both. Uh, and there's going to be a, a ton of moisture for this to work with. And here's what happens for a while. You see the flow is more uh, west, uh, I'm sorry, south, south, southwest right in here. So 
uh, you're going to get a continuous fetch of moisture and it's just going to most likely add up in the same places that the flow becomes more parallel and and i just don't think that there's going to be much movement with the boundary and we're going to see uh the 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 ramifications of that is some very heavy rainfall. And of course you can't rule severe weather out, but at this time, I think the bigger threat may be heavy rainfall out of this. And then the system wraps up according to the European, uh, and this is way out in the future. Look at this, it wraps up and lifts towards the north uh, and then gets out of here and then look, oh, here comes another one. So a very active March heading our way. Let's look at the European precipitation amounts. Start this, just look at this, just unbelievable amounts of rain that it's showing just continuous rainfall so i think that we really have to be concerned about and we don't know at this point we will not know oh, i just jumped ahead there uh, we will not know where that axis there's going to be an area of heavy rain that's i think that's almost a given nothing no there's no guarantee but we have to know and we do not know at this point where that axis of heaviest rain is going to set up we just don't know that but there's going to be one most most likely so there you go. I, you get a little bit of everything here on the Arkansas Weather Blog. You get a rant about tornado sirens. You get uh, information about thunderstorms and, and rain tonight. Maybe some small hail with some of that. And, uh, and a talk about next week. Very active weather pattern. Todd, is winter over? Um, my wife comes home from work yesterday and says, So, I heard you threw the towel in on winter. No, I did not throw the towel in on winter. I said, I'm close to throwing the towel in. On winter I have not done it yet it's March 2nd I have seen strange I have seen wild things happen here in Arkansas and to, and to say that winter is dead at the beginning of March you do so at your own peril all right thanks for coming to the Arkansas weather blog we are your ticket to big weather events